What's up, YouTube? Can you see me? What's going on? Okay, so this is going to be a little different of a video uh, than I typically make. Um, one of the homies sent me a link to a YouTuber named Nico's Aesthetics. And, and I don't know this guy from nowhere, but I've watched a few of his videos and it looks like he's more like a like a gossip blogger type of thing and it works great for him it works great for him i, I see it um but it's actually started with a video that he created about me um, about grandy glaze gay baiting gone wrong 2.0 that he made six days ago from now and the video did pretty good you know he got like almost 3,000 views on it good job man good job um, I haven't watched the video yet, so I wanted to do a reaction to this video, live and uncut and raw, um, to get you guys reactions. Now, this isn't me coming at Nico's aesthetics. Hey, whatever you're doing, bro, you do it. You know, I've never met this guy in the flesh, so I don't really know, you know, what he's trying to do. But you know, obviously, it works, and um, I guess I'm an interesting topic. You know, so thank you, bro, for even acknowledging me you feel me i appreciate it i do see you know in this channel that he does write quite a bit about some of my friends you know he writes about malik joseph and my boy air thugger it seems like he's coming for a lot of guys but i guess that's what happens when you're uh um i guess a gossip vlogger or blogger that's what you gotta do right you gotta do the messy stuff and before any y'all say that i did the same thing no, I didn't. No, I didn't. See, Bobby Lights and I had direct conversation. Like, Bobby Lights and I have some sort of a relationship. Like, we've spoken, you know what I'm saying? Same thing for Jason Lee, right? So, some of y'all can say, oh, well, you know, you're using guys' names for views. And it's like, you know, it, it's funny. And I'm only directing this at people that aren't my real fans, right? I find it funny how when someone else does this shit that's not as relevant as me, doesn't get no backlash for it. Someone using my name to get 3,000 views, but when I do it, oh, I, it, it's a problem. I don't get that. Like, I don't see, like, this is the same shit. And, and it's not even the same shit because to my degree, at least I'm mentioning people that I've actually spoken to. At least I'm mentioning people I actually know. This dude don't know me from nowhere, and I don't know him from nowhere neither. So, I mean, hey, I'm not trying to force nobody against nobody, but I'm just trying to figure out where can I get my break, man? Where can I get my break? I want my break. Damn, it's a, I'm always doing some bullshit. All right, everything I do is a problem for some of y'all, not for everybody. Anyways, let's get into the video. Oh, this shit got 200. This shit got 200 likes. Damn. So nice break up, bro. Take got his shirt off and shit. This nigga. You should, this motherfucker should do OnlyFans. That's what he should do. Head to the gym, baby. Let me address something right quick for some of y'all niggas. Because some of y'all in this comment section really pissed me off. And I feel like clapping back because I can. Why do you niggas keep forgetting to mention the part where you fucking pay me for these photos and videos? Huh? What the fuck is your problem? Why you keep doing all this shit? Talking Did this nigga even follow, follow me? How would you get this? Or oh, he's probably a blogger. Don't you ever pay me as anything else? I'm a businessman, bro. I get money. Fuck you. That's so facts. Today, we're gonna be here to talk about, well, to, to, to begin, allegedly. <laughs> Everything I'm just gonna be starting off with, allegedly. So, allegedly, <laughs> alright, I said it. I'm not gonna have to say it again because I already said it. This is all alleged. But, if you like this kind of content, make sure to follow me on Patreon at patreon.com slash links and aesthetics. I see you with the. I see you with the. Boop. If you like humor and thirst, at least, at least me follow me, man. Twitter. And if you like violence, <laughs> if you like violence and humor, because I mean I post like some gym pics or selfies sometimes on my alt, but it's mostly violence. Follow Nico's aesthetic, um, and I think we can begin. So essentially, as y'all saw that video that I inserted, our favorite big booty light skin hempo. Um, basically oh, ruined his back. <laughs> I mean, I have screenshots of the story post as well, but I inserted that video so that we can have context. So essentially, he was like, you know what? Y'all pay me for these pictures and videos, and y'all always forget. 
forget to mention that y'all pay me for this shit, and I'm not just doing gay shit for free, and blase, 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 and I would never fuck a man, and y'all must be out of your minds, I'm just a businessman about my bag, and I just want to say this, this always happens, this always happens with any quote-unquote straight man that partners with me, so, <laughs> I'm not going to make this like another Malik Bash video, because this is about me. Alright, so first and foremost, he hasn't really said anything that's wrong. I think he said, the one thing I think that I do disagree with is him saying that this happens with every guy that collabs with Malik. This is not a Malik thing at all. separate different uh story I guess but whatever okay that was that was insightful though then there was the skinnier dude with the fro with the big dick that was really popular that let Malik fuck him and he fucked Malik and it was master you know jacking on together or whatever and he went on this friend as well going I'm straight and that was just for the money he paid me and blah 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 and his his account got ruined so it's just a heterosexual men that quote unquote work with Malik have sex with him or do gay things with him and then they go into damage control to preserve their heterosexuality and before we go into more of the damage what? <laughs> alright well first okay, I think you really covered for Malik a little bit too much bro you gotta you gotta leave my mans alone this is not a, a Malik thing I don't know about all them other niggas but nah you can't be covered for Malik like that big dog come on man one of my followers and I were talking about it under the tweet that I made and they were like I don't understand why bisexuality is so taboo because my thing is sexuality is all on a spectrum and we already all know this so bisexuality is what most people default to like it's very rare to find a completely heterosexual or completely homosexual person so you're on a spectrum and I understand that sometimes it's scary especially with the um, stigmas that concern bisexual men especially within the black community or the people of color community, let's put it that way, because I know Brandy is like, I think he's biracial. He, he, has, he visibly has black in him, but you know, he looks biracial. <laughs> I guess I do. I mean, there's probably white somewhere down the line, bro, but we're Jamaican, bro. We're Jamaican, we're Jamaican. <laughs> you know, that's, that's the image that normally sells. <laughs> so, I mean, I understand the stigma that's around the quote unquote term of bisexuality, but at this point, if you're doing gay shit with men, and you're also fucking women because he, he has sex videos with him and women on his only fans. It's just most of his content is his butt or with other men because he's very popular for having a fat, thick ass. Like, damn, boy, he's thick. Like, that's a. I'm... <laughs> uh, I like the way you put it on, though, bro. You, you, I like the way you're kind of like. Being nice before you drop the good stuff. I know the good stuff coming. It's like eight minutes left. <laughs> we do this every video because y'all know I'm an ass fan, so I'm just I'm not gonna take it away from him. People are always like, oh, he has acne scars on his butt. That's perfectly normal. I'm not I'm not one of those people that are like, oh, you have acne scars, oh, you have dark spots because that is human. I don't understand why people expect this level of perfection from normal people that they want to see naked. Like, if we want a porn star body. You go to porn stars who get, you know, bleaching treatments, who get uh, spot correction, stuff like that. If you want that kind of thing, if you want the picture-perfect Gucci, go to porn. Yeah. Thanks for the, the defense, bro. <laughs> yeah, I do got spots on my ass. I got dirty ass, I ain't gonna lie. You want some average, everyday, amateur sex videos and things from people that you find attractive that aren't porn stars? Expect normal scene. Expect normal city because they're not gonna be going through these extra treatments to have this perfect quote unquote perfect societal image. Acne scars don't bother me because I have dark spot on my ass because I had a zit there too. So I'm just like that. It, it's one of those things that does not bother me. So I hate when I see comments like that because don't. 
don't tear apart a normal body because you're so used to seeing perfected, quote unquote, surgery, surgically enhanced bodies. So yeah, anyway, back to his body, he has a fat ass. He does, he does. Anyway, I got distracted talking about the booty. I've been expecting his booty just because, uh, just because this is the topic ahead. Yeah, that's why. That's, that's definitely why. And it, <laughs> he's in hot shit right now because he basically said, I'm not gay. I'm not gonna fuck a man. Y'all out of y'all minds. And my thing is, I don't understand why gay for pay, gay baiting people get so upset when people ask where you're going to go the next step. Or are you at least by curious when they're already producing man on man content? Such as, let me go down the list because I did extensive, extensive research on Mr. Granny. <laughs> but basically, he's done nude wrestling with men. As Cheeks out, him and Flash and Away did nude, nude wrestling and that's, that was a, that was cheek square, you know, that was beautiful. Uh, I'll give it to them, they're beautiful, they're beautiful men. I don't pay for their content, I don't like go subscribe to them, but I watch their previews and they're beautiful men. Anyways, anyways, moving on. So, he's done new wrestling with men. He's done a shower scene with Malik where they're rubbing on each other naked in the shower. He's done oiled up booty massages with Malik. Malik has... <laughs> you can't get mad when people question if you're bisexual if you have a man massaging your fat ass. And while he's shaking it, you're saying, yeah, jiggle my fat cakes. Like, that's that's homosexual. That's homosexual. That's, that's... Anyway. Definitely homosexual. <laughs> Touched over my uh, my feet though, yeah, my feet, but yeah. To the piece de resistance or whatever the French called it, bitch, he was twerking as Malik sprayed whipped cream all up his ass. Malik licked the whipped cream off his ass and then nutted on his ass while he was twerking. Nutted. <laughs> I, I didn't do that. He ain't, he ain't capping. But that shit was lit though, wasn't it? for anything. Not a goddamn thing. <laughs> they just just continue to say that without getting such a dismissive undertone of homophobia. <laughs> like you can't be I would never fuck a man and y'all out y'all right out of business man and y'all talking all this shit. It's like we understand if you continue to identify that straight that's one thing. My thing is it's a spectrum. And you're trying to play up the spectrum now that you've your bag because now he's on Twitter going, oh, whose dick am I gonna suck? I'm not gonna take no dick bigger than 7.5 and I need lube and we gonna suck somebody's dick tonight and we gonna bottom and blood. Like he's going above and beyond to do damage control. Ever since his Instagram got taken down because of those remarks, he has been posting nothing but sucking dick and blah, blah, blah. Mind you, never any videos or photos of such things. He's just saying that verbally saying, oh. you goddamn right. Here's my thing. When people like you make this remark, you make it seem like I'm doing nothing for something. You know, that's that's where my issue is. My issue is that people say I'm making money out of the community like I robbed people. Like I did absolutely nothing. Like I did not perform the things that you guys wanted me to see. And again, if the hate outweighs the love, then I'll stop doing what I'm doing. Cause the love, the love is, 
is far greater than the people that say these things. And in terms of the context, bro, there's a lot of people that spitefully come at me. And I get it, yes, am I some sort of celebrity? I don't fucking think so. I think I'm a normal ass nigga for real uh, with work ethic. Um, but a lot of people have come for me, you know what I'm saying? Um, saying that I've robbed the community, I've drained the community, I'm a leech, I'm a gay baiter. But it's like, bro, y'all saying this shit like I did absolutely nothing to get the money. Like, like, like I just uh, hacked your accounts or something. I didn't do that. And I mean, my real fans, they're not really going to get offended by the things that I said because my real fans know what it is, right? It's entertainment at the end of the day. At the end of the day, if I post anything else, are you even going to like that? Is it going to take care of the things that I need to take care of in terms of getting engagement, in terms of, you know, my fans being involved? Yes, it's a fantasy, and I have to play into that, you feel me? But that's just me, though. That's just me. It's gay baiting to the maximum, but at the same time, you letting niggas knock on your ass, down your ass crack. So it's like, I can't really... <laughs> You know what? He's straight, blah 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 blah. Because even straight men, if they're doing shit like this, they'll this it's gay for pay. They'll just say it's gay for pay and they'll move on. Just accept that it's gay for pay if you don't want to identify as bisexual or gay, and just leave it at that. If people make comments about you fucking a man, leave it at that. You don't have to interact, especially since you've already pushed the envelope. That's the thing. You let this man lick, lick whipped cream off your ass. I'm not even mad about that. What I'm mad about is that people want to disrespect me and then they think it's okay because I'm a celebrity or whatever that means, right? Because the root of all this is that, you know, niggas think they can come from my loved ones. You know what I'm saying? I post my loved one on my Instagram and people think they can talk down about it. I got to protect mine. So, yes, was... I'll tell you this, Nico. I'll tell you this. Was my clapback a little aggressive? Was it a little crazy? Did I get a bit... Rattled off my game, yeah. But when you come for someone that's emotional, um, emotionally attached to me, someone that I truly care about, um, yeah, that bothers me, and I gotta clap back. You know what I'm saying? Like that's just the kind of person I, I'm. A Pisces, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna protect mine. I ain't gonna post my girl, and the niggas gonna start saying whoop de whoop and blah 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 and this that and the third. I gotta say what I gotta say, and like I said, I'm not putting you in this category, bro. But the people that ain't true fans, the ones that want to demasculate me and destroy me and throw all this other shade at me, they think it's okay. They can just say whatever they want. They took it, they took it the way they want to take it. They took it the way they want to take it. And, and I did it with the utmost sincerity to come at the people that aren't my true fans, the people that are literally trying to disres blatantly disrespect me. And I can take that. But you cannot blatantly disrespect my loved ones. No one. Not my mother, not my father, not my cousins, not my bitch, not even my friends. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to stand up for them, period. I just don't understand the anger that came with it. But yeah, that's a story. That's the, what are your opinions? Because my thing is, it's another gay baiting situation that went too far for their comfort because now their image has been properly skewed into the more homosexual aspect because my thing is gay baiting is fine and dandy but if you wanted to continue to keep a quote unquote hypermasculine straight bro I'm not trying to keep a quote unquote hypermasculine frame bro I'm not trying to do none of that at all you know I know what it is like at the end of the day there's nothing I can really say that's going to change anybody's mind right everybody wants me to be something and everybody wants to see certain kind of content and obviously I have my limits bro you know what I'm saying yes did I push the envelope yeah, I'll admit that. The envelope got pushed. But why is that a bad thing? Why can't I push the envelope? You know what I'm saying? My issue is that a lot of motherfuckers think they can come for me and mine, and I'm not going to say shit. I said that to make it hurt. Yes, I'll be honest. I said that to make it hurt, but I didn't say that to hurt any of my true fans because they didn't go nowhere. <laughs> you know, my true fans, they're going to, my true fans know who I am and what I'm about, and they know, hey, Grandy Glaze, the entertainer, and he's going to do whatever it takes within his means to entertain me. I'm going to do that. I'm, I'm just built a little different. You know what I'm saying? I'm built a little different. I'm built a little different. But at the same time, it's like, bruh, you've got to understand. People that aren't my fans 
are going to take the things I said and run with it because they wanted to destroy me a long time ago regardless. It didn't matter what I said, you know what I'm saying? You feel me on that one? So it's not even about protecting my masculinity and all that other shit, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it's, it was blatantly to disrespect and piss off people that aren't my true fans that think they can um, say anything they gotta say about me and my loved ones. And it's not about my sexuality. It went further than that, you know what I'm saying? That's the part you forgot to leave out though, you feel me? And I will get my Instagram back. But anyways, I'm gonna leave it at that guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, it wasn't really a clap back, it was just more like a reaction video. This is my first time actually watching this. Like I never, never watched this guy's video. I really appreciate the content, big dog. Um, yeah, keep it coming, man, keep it coming. But make sure you keep everything in your videos. All right, y'all. Take care of yourselves and take care of each other, you already know.